Hey, what's up you guys? Sean Allen here. Welcome to another Halloween Horror Nights update video. As you can see, I'm right here in front of the Universal Studios globe. And directly in front of me is, of course, the gates to Universal Studios Hollywood. So I know for... <coughs> Hold on a second, let me get away from these misters. So I know that for a while, I've been getting a few comments saying, oh, the information you're giving us in your previous video was not accurate, or, oh, this is where everything is. Okay, all right, you guys convinced me. The video that I posted was supposed to give you an idea as to where each maze was located, but I didn't know what the mazes were called at the time. So yes, I looked up on Twitter, I looked at my comments, and now here is an official I'm pretty sure it's almost accurate video <laughs> of the entire Halloween Horror Nights layout and here we go, let's just get started right now. Now obviously from the looks of the front gate, it doesn't look like they have this set up just yet for Halloween Horror Nights, but there is what looks like a cable or something up there. So they're about to get ready to put in extra lighting and decorations for Halloween Horror Nights here at the front gate. So it should be here by next week because literally next week is the employee preview night. And then on the 15th, it officially opens to the public. So right by the front gate here and all the way along here towards the Universal Plaza will be one of the scare zones and that is going to be Halloween. That's where we have a bunch of characters dressed up in what they call traditional Halloween costumes. They'll be over here scaring the heck out of you as you enter Universal Studios. That over there is going to be one of the mazes right there. That's the Titans of Terror Maze where you get to meet Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, and Leatherface from some of the most famous horror films out there. Friday the 13th, A Nightmare on Elm Street, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of detail work popping out over there just above the walls. It's actually in the queue line area for Waterworld. And obviously Waterworld will not be open during Halloween Horror Nights. Although a couple of years ago, actually several years ago, there was a live stage show there called Slaughter World. Okay, this is like the first, like, maybe signs of Halloween Horror Nights right now, the light fixture. So, anyways, I think that is the first sign that I've seen so far, because this is new. I do not know if this area will be decorated. I remember a couple years ago, I shouldn't say a couple years ago, this happened many years ago, they had a bunch of zombies up here. I don't know if that was because of Walking Dead or what, but at one point there were a bunch of zombies all around this building. Okay, well, this is new. This wasn't here last time I was here. So they are setting up stuff right now. There's a big T right there. Now I'm not sure what this is gonna be. This looks like it might be Q line for one of the mazes over here. And here we go. This is it right here, the first sign of Halloween Horror Nights right there. That is awesome. This looks like it might be some sort of like maybe lighting fixture. They might have flamethrowers over here. I don't know if that's really possible because you got these palm trees here. Probably not the flamethrowers because I know they've had flamethrowers here before. Oh wow, look at the detail work on this. It looks like a part of it got burnt. Don't worry, that's all fake, but that is gonna be one of the mazes this year. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Bloomhouse is the movie studio that's brought us The Purge, Get Out, Cringe, and a bunch of other horror films most notably The Purge. But this right here, I believe is where that maze is gonna be. Of course, directly next to that maze is the Walking Dead walkthrough attraction. And yes, this will be open during Halloween Horror Nights. Now, unlike the one in Orlando, the one in Orlando will not be getting a Walking Dead maze or scare zone this year which ends their long tradition of having it there at Universal Orlando. But I guess people thought it was getting a little boring or something, but we still have the attraction here. So there you go. It's gonna be open during Halloween Horror Nights. So one attraction that will not be open during Halloween Horror Nights is Despicable Me. This will not be open during Halloween Horror Nights. For those of you who are planning on coming to Universal during September and October, you might be seeing this around the different areas of the theme park. So be aware. Another attraction that will not be open during Halloween Horror Nights is of course Universal's Animal Actors. And in case you didn't see my previous video, yes, Wizarding World of Harry Potter will not be open during Halloween Horror Nights. And of course, since they were very popular last year, the Java Walkie Show will be coming back to the special effects stage show right here. 
for Halloween Horror Nights. Right next door to Springfield, obviously. Oh, I hear the whistle. <laughs> One attraction that will be open during Halloween Horror Nights is, of course, the Simpsons ride. You can't have Halloween Horror Nights without the Terror Tram. That's right, Titans of Terror Tram. He is going to be on the Universal Backlot, or by the Whoville sets, the Base Motel, the Psycho House, and of course the War of the World set. It's going to be hosted by none other than Child's Play serial killer Chucky. And of course, Freddy Krueger, Jason, and Leatherface will be on the tour as well. So over here we have the Universal Backlot, and yes, there will be mazes and scare zones down here. One of them being Ash vs. Evil Dead and the Saw Maze. The scare mazes, or scare zones I should say, will be Toxic Tunnel and Urban Inferno, right down here. Okay, so I'm going down to the lower lot now to show you what we got going on down there for Halloween Horror Nights. So there's Revenge of the Mummy, the ride, right there. And right there, squeezed in there, that tent is the Shining Maze. It took them about 12 years, they said, to get the Shining to come out here to Halloween Horror Nights. That's a long time. It's finally here for 2017. Revenge of the Mummy, the ride, will be open during Halloween Horror Nights. And so look, right up there, there's some lights that they just installed because there's obviously be a lot of people out here in the dark. And once again, I've mentioned this before, I'll say it again, Transformers will be open during Halloween Horror Nights. So this right here is the gateway to The Shining, and I believe also to the back lot for Universal Studios in order to get to the Metropolitan sets for Ash vs. Evil Dead and Saw. So this is the Jurassic Park ride, but I'm not going on the ride because I want to show you guys the maze that they have back here. I don't know if you can see it from back here, but we'll find out. So right over here is where the maze is. They have this area blocked off a little bit. The maze is right down there. That's where they're gonna have the insidious maze. And you can just see it right there, right at the very edge. And the studio tour is actually going past us right now. And I can't forget about this, Jurassic Park will be open during Halloween Horror Nights. It'll be rethemed to Jurassic Park in the dark. So they'll be adding some more stuff to it for Halloween Horror Nights to make it a little more scary. One last thing, this studio directory will change when Halloween Horror Nights is in place. So all the attractions you see here will mostly be gone. The only ones will be open will be Simpsons Ride, Mummy, Jurassic Park, and Transformers. And Walking Dead. All the rest will be closed. So this basically will have like the time limit for the different mazes, like how long the wait is. Hopefully it's not gonna be super crowded, but you know what? I bet it will be. So be prepared for long lines, lots of crowds, and of course, monsters. Whew, you guys. It's not hot, but it's warm. But it was a nice day today. First of all, I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I did a much better job on this one than I did in my previous video. And I hope almost everything in this video was accurate. If something wasn't, you know, don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section down below. But I believe I got everything right this time. The one thing that I didn't mention in this video was the ticket prices. And I know for a fact that on certain days, the prices will change. So if you want more information about special offers and ticket prices, go to the Universal website for Halloween Horror Nights. I'll be posting the link down below in the description of this video. I know that there's one for Orlando as well as the other parks, but it's this one that I'm gonna be posting is specifically for Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood. So go and check it out if you wanna find out the ticket prices and their special offers. Plus, you can also check out more information about the mazes and the scare zones. And just have a blast with it. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to check out my previous vlogs as well as my other channels, the educational series, the design video series, and the travel town series. I'm all over the place on social media. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I also have a PO box. If you guys want to send me mail, there's a PO box address down below in the description of this video. Sad. That was weird. I heard a noise or something. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. End scene. And as they say in Hollywood, that's a re oh, What is going on out there? I'm telling you guys, I heard something out the door. I don't know what it was. Hold on.
You see anything? I don't see anything. Hmm. Weird. Anyways, once again, thank you so much for watching End Scene, and as they say in Hollywood, that's... <laughs>